We have some real life breaking crypto news. Justin, two individuals involved in the 2016 Bitfinex hack have been arrested today. Following the rest, the Department of Justice announced they seized over $3.6 billion in Bitcoin from the hackers. This is the largest seizure ever made in history from the Department of Justice. We're going to be looking at all this, but if you are interested in more crypto news, go ahead and smash that like button. McCoin Desk reported it. We're going to be looking at all the details here. Nearly 120,000 Bitcoins were stolen in the hack. They go on to say that federal officials seized some $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin tied to the 2016 hack of the crypto exchange Bitfinex. Agents arrested two individuals in New York on Tuesday on charges that conspired to launder proceeds from the Bitfinex hack in 2016. The married couple Ilya Dutch, Lichtenstein, and Heather Morgan will appear in court at 3 p.m. Eastern in New York, according to a U.S. Department of Justice release. That's quick turnaround time by the Justice Department, huh? Arrested on, on Tuesday and already in court that afternoon. Moving quickly here, obviously, the largest seizure ever from the U.S. Department of Justice here, but some 120,000 Bitcoin were stolen in the hack. Then it was worth around $60 million, which is still a massive amount. Nearly one-sixth of the total trading volume on Bitfinex at the time. At today's prices, the total amount of Bitcoin stolen is valued at $4.5 billion, but the DOJ only seized about 94,000 Bitcoin valued at $3.6 billion. The DOJ re uh, release alleges the two conspired to launder these proceeds and heavily implies, but does not claim they were the original hackers. Unauthorized transactions moved the stolen Bitcoin to Liechtenstein's wallet, and some 25,000 of the Bitcoin were transferred out over the past five years. The remaining 94,000 Bitcoin, that's insane, 94,000 Bitcoin, remain in Liechtenstein's wallet. After the execution of court-authorized search warrants of online accounts controlled by Liechtenstein and Morgan, special agents obtained access to files within an online account controlled by Liechtenstein. The press release says, anyways, 94,000 Bitcoin were hacked here. CZ Binance says it best. He says, crypto is easier to track than fiat. I think this is a good thing for crypto. And I think this is a, uh, a warning sign for all the hackers out there and also all the rug pullers, the devs that are creating rug pulls. It's like, look, this is easily tracked. Even if you do rug a project, let's say you do, I mean, that crypto is going to be tracked in some way, shape or form. So CZ Binance with a great tweet. I have a question for all the people in the audience. I tweeted this out. So is the U.S. keeping the Bitcoin that was seized during the attack? Or are they sending it back to those affected? That's a real question. $3.6 billion worth of Bitcoin was seized by the U.S. DOJ. Did they give it back to the, the millions of people or hundreds of thousands of people that were affected? Or do they keep the crypto to keep up with the global competition that we're seeing from other countries that are stacking crypto like El Salvador? We see Russia talking about cryptocurrency. And I'm sure there's a lot of other uh, countries that are stacking Bitcoin and crypto well, not going publicly about it, but anyways, U.S. adds 3.6 billion Bitcoin to the balance sheet. The question is, what do they do with it here? Let me know your thoughts. Do you think the U.S. is going to keep this? Do you think that they're going to be giving it back? But that is what the news is today. The two individuals involved in the Bitcoin hack, the Bitfinex hack in 2016 have been arrested. Not a good day for those two, but justice has been served. I'll, served. I'll be following this story closely, and we will be keeping it up to see their sentencing and what it looks like. My, my imagination is that the DOJ and the, the uh, U.S., Department of Justice is going to come down hard on these two individuals to set a standard of, of the fact that they're not playing around in the crypto space. But let me know your thoughts. Should the DOJ keep it? Will the DOJ keep it? Or will they give it back to those affected? Appreciate your support here. Breaking news. That is breaking, breaking, breaking news. U.S. seizes $3.6 billion in Bitcoin today and arrest the two individuals involved in the 2016 Bitfinex Act. Appreciate your support. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe, and we will see you on the next episode. Peace out, everybody.